you tell where we are? We're in Utah, Salt Lake City. We're gonna be here for the week. So it's kind of fun, kind of challenging um, to move the whole, <laughs> move your whole life somewhere else for a week, but that's what we're doing this week. But look, it's pretty cold, but it's not snowing. Surprise! Check it out, guys. This is the natural texture of my hair. So I'm gonna fix this, and then we'll start our day. Okay, now I look a little bit more like myself. So I know a lot of you have asked for a makeup and hair like tutorial, getting ready type video, and I'm working on that. There is a special video about hair and makeup in the works, so watch for that one. So anyway, I thought I would give you a little explanation about why we were in Utah. Um, my husband is an entrepreneur and he owns several small businesses, which is great because he can make his own schedule. So when we're at home in California, um, he often can work from home and him and I can trade off with the kids and, and work as a team. But every once in a while he needs to travel to Utah to um, tend to one of the businesses. And so I either have a choice to stay home alone with all four kids for the week or we can travel with him and we can all go together. But while we're here, he still has work that he has to do. So sometimes we will come with him to Utah and sometimes we'll stay at home. But it just so happens that he has a sister that lives in Utah and grandparents. So when we come, we get to visit family as well. Part of the challenge of being here is kind of like bringing, bringing our whole life here, but obviously we can't bring all of the comforts of home, just, just the bare necessities. So, and that includes school stuff because we're homeschoolers, we need to bring our school stuff with us. And so we've done that. We're about to get started with school right now. We had breakfast this morning, everybody got dressed and fed. Griffin is sleeping, so it's a perfect time to get started on school. Oh, and I brought a box of goodies as well um, for the kids. I like to bring like surprise things that they don't normally use at home um, while we're here, to give them fun, special projects to do. So I'll show you those, because while we're in Utah, during the day, the kids and I are at this house. This is um, my sister-in-law's house. She's so nice to let us stay here. Um, but we, the kids and I, will be here most of the day. And then when John gets back, then we'll go do some fun activity or go to Costco or something that we like to do when we're here. Visit family. We can do that after he's done um, later in the day. So during the day we're here and we are getting our school done and trying a new schedule that we don't normally do. It's, it's always a challenge to change the routine and the schedule and stuff, but actually I think it's really good practice because I don't know if I shared this before, but it's an ultimate dream and goal of mine someday to become road schoolers. So to pack up all of our stuff, get in an RV, and then cross the country with the kids, which obviously messes with the schedule and routine. So this type of thing is it's kind of practice for that. So, I better get downstairs, get school started. Oh, I found Mackenzie. She's hard at work over here. She's doing her online school, huh? What are you learning about today? Um, I'm doing language arts. Cool, she's on timeforlearning.com. It makes it super easy to travel and get her schoolwork done. Okay, so I'm gonna give them their surprise box, but first I'm gonna give them a little snack. <laughs> and let me see, I gotta get them from the freezer. These are, Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. You definitely should keep these in the freezer and eat them cold. They're cold, so they're not super hard. Very yummy. Let me know in the comments down below if you leave your Thin Mints in the freezer. They're excellent. Here's our box of surprises. I've told these guys that if they fight, that I'm not gonna edit it out. So you better not fight over the stuff, okay? We're sharing these things. Okay, can I open it, Mom? Open it. Okay. Yeah. Look. Ooh, face painting. Yeah, you guys want to get some face painting? Hey, look. Hey, seashell. 
the show. Okay, so lots of fun sort of educational games and toys while we're here. Ignore the nails, guys. I did not get a chance to fix the nails. Maybe later, <laughs> but some of these things are from Target and some of them are from Amazon. Check these out. This is from the dollar section at Target, and these are excavation kits. This one is for a dinosaur, and then this little pyramid one has a jewel inside, and then the seashell has a fossil. So you guys can use a little excavation tools to find what's inside. These came from the dollar section of Target as well. We have this candy store game, and it's three and up. Let's see. Wash my underpants. Let's see, what is this one? This one's colors and counting, and this candy store is also colors and counting and math and memory, and then there's where's my bottom. Can you go grab that um, CD over there? Do you see that CD pack? This isn't part of our fun box, but it's something that we're going to try to do. Now, I was inspired by um, Michelle at A Common Life, her morning, morning basket, and so I wanted to try to give that a try and include the story of the world. Now, this is actually the CD version, so I don't actually have to read it. Um, they can listen to it in the car or on headphones, and I just like the versatility of this. So we're going to try this as well. Now, the Play-Doh we already had left over from Christmas, but maybe they can do Play-Doh while we listen to the story of the world. Does that sound like a good idea? And we can make sculptures of yeah. what it's talking about. Uh -huh. And then, this is something that Mackenzie's wanted for a while, right? Yes. Are you excited about this one? I can start on face painting, then I can do my own makeup then. Oh, no makeup till you're a teenager though, right? Yes. Unless you're doing a dance competition. So this is a Melissa and Doug product. I got this on Amazon. And what's cool no. about this set, that is not and these are all, you know, you know safe, non-toxic paints, but this actually shows the kids how to step-by-step step draw and decorate the face. So this isn't just for you to do. You can paint somebody else's face, and then they can paint yours, and it'll, we can take turns. So I really like that this comes with a book on how to do these cute face paintings. This was only $6.99. Yay. So that's not too bad. And then Jackson, I thought you would especially like this one. This is a tape activity book. You know how you always steal the tape at our house? Yeah, he does always steal the tape, but this comes with kid washi tape. And so you know mommy loves washi tape, right? So let's see. This comes with all of these different um, pages, and then they can rip and tear the tape and decorate the pages. And then this is one that I thought our Lily would like especially. This is the paint with water. I have several of these, but this one is the animal themed one. So they just need a paintbrush and water. And it's really not that messy. And then of course we have our work workbooks that we got from Costco. We'll be doing some of that as well. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah! yeah. What should we do first? Excavation? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. I'm trying to turn a light on here, in here, but since this isn't my house, I'm not sure where the light switches are. Oh, there we go. We got it. So you got the pyramid, right? Yeah. So you get a pumpkin. And it says that there's some jewels inside. There is. And this is for ages three and up. And so it's okay for Lily to do. Let me tell you something. But it looks yeah. like it's going to get messy, so keep it on the plate. Um, mine has dinosaurs inside of it. Yeah, yours has a little fossil. Oh no, yours has like a little dinosaur toy inside. Yeah. Like, you need to break it open and then I'm going to have dinosaurs toys. Yeah. And Lily's okay. has a fossil. Did you find yours? Yep. What did you find? Let me see. It's a little dinosaur. Cool. Did you find yours? Let yeah. me see. <gasps> cool. But I have to let you guys know if you get these, they're way messier than I thought. It should clean up pretty easily, but maybe do this outside. Look, I found a part of the jewel. Oh, let me see. It's red. It's a Ooh, ruby. A ruby, cool. Kathy, and guess what? What? We have a dog here, and it's named a Ruby. <gasps> There's a dog named Ruby. Hi. She's so sweet. Okay, it's almost lunchtime, you guys. Let's finish up. All right, I got that all cleaned up. It actually cleaned up really easily. It wasn't too bad at all. But look who woke up. Hi, Griffin. Did you wake up? Hi. So we went out last night 
after we got to town, we went to Walmart and picked up this little walker because I needed a safe place to put him down when we were here. And I couldn't bring my whole walker from home because it's just too big to fit in the car. So we picked up this little one for like 30 bucks and he's loving it. Can you walk? Come on, walk to mama. It's still kind of hard for him to walk, but yeah. So now I'm gonna work on some lunch. For lunch today, I'm making the kids some mac and cheese. And I'm gonna have my mac and cheese and we'll have oranges and strawberries. Just keeping it simple. Four. We're taking a brain break. <laughs> Counting to 100. Eight, nine, 10, because of the activity. 11, 12, 14, 14, 15. <laughs> Are you watching those guys dance? 44, 45. <laughs> How come you're not doing 40, it? Baby. You be nice to that doggy. You had to be nice to the doggy. Yes, be nice. So we're just gonna hang out until John gets back and then maybe we'll go to the DI, the thrift store. That'll be fun. Oh, be nice. We finished school. They did PE. We had lunch. We vacuumed. Oh, Griffin's pinching me. He needs to go down for a nap. And then I'm gonna let these guys do painting. <laughs> I'm gonna do face painting. <laughs> right, so we had to abandon the face painting because they were not getting along. But we're gonna try that again tomorrow. Okay. And what else? Oh, Griffin is sleeping. So right now we're gonna play this really cute game that we got in the dollar section of Target. It's called Wash My Underpants. So you have this cute little washing machine. And then all of these Underpants. We have all of these underpants, so it's basically a matching game. Hi guys, it is almost 4 p.m. and I'm finally getting out of the house. I've been here all day with the kids and I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go outside. So we're going to go to the DI and do some thrift shopping. Yeah, pretty excited. Oh yes, and since we're in Utah, the land of the Dirty Cokes, there may be one in my future. Here are the socks of the day. We've got pancakes with syrup and butter. Yum. I love fun socks and I love pancakes. So it's like the perfect combination. Now let's go shopping. We made it, we're here. But they're gonna close in 30 minutes because it's Monday and they let everybody go home early for family home evening on Monday. So we're just gonna do what we can do and maybe come back tomorrow. But first I wanted to show you. Check out my car, you guys. Look how dirty. This is what happens when you drive from California to Utah at winter time. So definitely a car wash is in the future. Oh, there's those crazy kids. Let's go. Okay, so we only had 30 minutes in there and that was not enough time. So we'll probably go to another DI or a different DI tomorrow and see what we can get. And at the end of the trip, maybe I'll do a DI haul and show you everything that we ended up getting. Because if you're, if you're new to this channel, um, about every six months when we visit Utah, I like to visit the DI and stock up on my kids' clothes like boots and denim jeans and things like that and I'll usually buy what I need for the next season so all the pants they're gonna need for winter I'll buy all at once and they're like two to three dollars a piece and so we save a lot of money that way so I'll go ahead and um, put an i-card up here if you want to check out my last DI haul I'll put that right there and you can check that out we're gonna try this new place called Thirst check out the menu here all the different flavored drink combos you can get. But of course, I'm gonna be getting this one that they call Smooth Classic. Coke, coconut, vanilla cream. But where's the lime? I need lime in it. Oh, here we go. The Little Mama, Diet Coke with coconut and lime. Or you could get the Hissy Fit, which is Diet Coke, pineapple, coconut, and coconut cream. That sounds good. Lots of yummy combos. Here's the pricing, in case you're curious. That's not bad for around here. Okay, what should we get? <laughs> we, we left Thirst and I wanted to give these a try. This is called the, 
I took a picture of it because I knew I wouldn't remember the name, but it's called the Dr. McCreamy, and it's raspberry puree, coconut cream, and Dr. Pepper. It's good. It definitely doesn't taste like Dr. Pepper anymore at all. I can taste, taste the raspberry. I don't know. I can't tell. It's good. It's really good. It's not too sweet. It's excellent. And this is a lot cheaper than some other places in town. And this is their version of a dirty Diet Coke. Oh, sorry. This is their version of the Diet Coke. I can do this. This is their version of the dirty Coke. And this, they put coconut flavoring, vanilla cream, and fresh lime juice. It's good. I would like more lime juice. But then I always put extra in mine, but it's very good. Two thumbs up for thirst. If you're in Utah, but you're in like the Salt Lake area, definitely check out Thirst. I also picked up their version of a sugar cookie and their specialty, which is called a Scotcheroo. But it's pretty dark here now, and both Lily and Jackson are sleeping, and I wanted to share it with them. So I think I'll wait till I get back to the house, and then I'll show you and let them try them. We're gonna go. We're gonna run into Costco here. We don't need a lot of stuff because we did stop at Winco last night, but we're gonna go in anyway and just pick up a few things, and then we're gonna head home. I got you some flowers. You got me flowers for Valentine's Day. I love them. Now go put them back and give me the money instead. <laughs> Look, this Costco has kombucha. I've never seen that before. And it's only $11.49 for a case of six. Yeah, this is the best Costco ever. If you go to Costco on a Monday night, it's pretty empty. We're back now. Where did we go? Uh, to DI. To DI. Yeah. And Costco. Yeah. And the soda store. The soda store. But were you sleeping at the soda store? Yeah. Yeah, so we got two treats to share. Here's their Whoa. sugar cookie. Oh. It's pretty big. Oh, and this is their Scotch Roo is what they're calling it. It looks like a corner piece. It smells really good. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this up and then we can share it. But let's try one. Okay, everybody can take one of each kind. Uh, was it good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mom, the now, last one is for you, Mom. That's right, those are for Mommy. Mm. It's not so bad if you share them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, which one's better? The sugar cookie or the Scotch Roo? Which one? Mm. Both of them. Both of them? Good answer. Okay, thanks for joining us on our typical day in Utah. We will see you next, next time. time.